Next year, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Tiny Meat Gang, Cody Ko, and Noel Miller are going global. TMG presents the Global Domination Tour. The Beef Boys are back with a brand new show, and this time they're taking on the world. The UK, Ireland, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States of Freedom. You don't want to miss this global event. Get your tickets now. TinyMeatTour.com What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's Patreon.com slash TinyMeatGang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. A E I O U, and, and sometimes, sometimes Daddy slept with the male lady. What? A E I O. Your parents are getting a divorce. <sighs> Is that a, a, let's talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, Cindy. Let's practice our vowels today. You've been doing so good in school. A E I O, your dad is leaving for <laughs> another woman. A E I O, you, and sometimes your dad sleeps with his secretary. He's a dick. A E I O, you, and why did your dad make another daughter? I just, you know, I loved you so much, I had to make another one. You'll get to meet her in a year. A E I O, you and sometimes you ruined my life. A E Y O U and why did I have you? <laughs> no, why that'd be great. Did I have you? A E I O U, you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I'm 25. <laughs> well, I know my vowels. <laughs> I spoke my. I'm going bareback today. Going yeah, this is no headphones. No, no headphones. headphones. You know better. Oh, man, we are you delirious. You know better. Week five tour, Bo- Cody and Noel are the worst. Yeah, they really are the worst. Dude, I was the worst. No, we have so much shit that we didn't have. We didn't get to talk about in the last episode. I know. I remember when we finished, I would. There's, there's like always f- like, where would you finish? You pop on your phone. It's like, oh, yeah. It's either some shit happens right then or. Yeah, you, you just see some shit that you're like, oh no, I remember to talk like some, you know, Wait, Will Zan doing something stupid or two, something like that. Two things we got to get out of the way. One, we have legitimately a fucking massive announcement next week. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We should yeah add that up front. We do have it. So <laughs> we keep your like, beady yeah. little eyes peeled for that. Yeah, a fucking massive. This is not. This is literally nothing we've done before. Yeah, this is crazy. It's. I'm pretty fucking nervous. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. No, it's a great announcement. Yeah, it is. I'm very excited. It's a big excited. announcement. It's big fucking announcement. It's huge. Literally. It's it's big. It's gigantic. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to cover a lot of surface area. Surface area. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. Yeah. It's a big ass announcement. No, Tuesday. It's on Tuesday. It's on Tuesday? Yeah, sorry. I Tuesday. Said, I said next week. I didn't specify a day. Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. No, you said Monday. <laughs> Did I? Okay, mm-hmm. sorry. Tuesday. Tuesday. Big ass announcement coming up. Mm-hmm. Big ass. Big, big ass. ass announcement. Big a, fucking a announcement. BAA as, yeah. as it's referred to in so the biz, that. biz term. And the second thing is, apparently I told the story of the drunk girl accosting yeah. Chris twice. You did. And when you said it the second time, I was like, I think I've heard this. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's good just keeping with the theme that I tell it again. So we're at... Yeah, yeah, okay. Where, where are yeah, Willie's? Yeah. And the, in additionally, New it's it's a really good story too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, guys. I fucking I'm going crazy. We're both going crazy. No, okay. See so here, here's here's something. Speaking of A E I O U school and all that, mm-hmm. I was howling, and I mean actually howling at this clip of this dude in blackface <laughs> teaching like a science class or some shit. He's dressed up like common and he's he's mimicking his like Intel AI commercial. But he just ends up looking like Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> he's like fully like like blackface <laughs> to the neck. Like And is he bald? He's bald. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe that could have been a bald cap. I don't know. The the lighting in that clip is awful. But I couldn't watch it. 
I opened it up and oh, it's so I couldn't. I started like started it and I was too awkward. I couldn't watch it because <laughs> everyone in the class knows that it's fucked up, but he f- somehow thinks that it's okay. <laughs> I was howling, just thinking so many things. I'm like, first up, what was going through his mind when he was wiping the makeup off? No, <laughs> when no. the day was over. All right, that first stuff was. Did, did he just feel like? Did, did he, <laughs> no, dude. What about what he was thinking when it was halfway on? <laughs> Do you think when he got past his eyes and he was like, "Yeah, this is still so sick." <laughs> They're, They're so, gonna fucking love this. <laughs> There's so many steps <laughs> that should have inspired him to like think that one, bro. First of all, he's teaching like high school, so you know classes start like seven. Did he put it on before work? <laughs> so is he in like blackface at six in the morning just, eating breakfast just, with his just, wife? <laughs> like driving through traffic in blackface, just like looking at people like, what's up? And no one. Blasting common. Yeah. At, yeah. Getting into character. Yeah. And no one's like, yo, <laughs> what? That's not cool. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. He has to get up extra early to yeah. put it on. <laughs> yeah. Honey, sorry, I'm, it's four. I have to get into costume. <laughs> she wasn't like, maybe don't, maybe just don't. Was was it a, like a Halloween thing or was it? <clears throat> I think it was like he was teaching uh, like a lesson. Wasn't yeah, he? it was like he was like I think he was trying to talk about like AI, <laughs> but like when you hear him, like he doesn't sound like common at all. Like that. Hey, when you bring it up, let's play the sound. He sound, bro. Oh my fucking god, dude! I gotta hear this. I was crying, laughing, like. Nobody like if you got up at four and at four thirty after you stepped out of the shower, you're like, it's time. You're fucking or do you put it on his desk? <laughs> People are trying to go, hey Mike, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> so I am yeah, I'm I'm getting ready for today's lesson. What's up? What's up? Hey Mike, yo, what's up? Oh, <laughs> oh what the god? What are you doing, dude? What? I'm just he's halfway, it's just here. <laughs> Thinking about it spherically like this, or not spherically, but you know what I'm saying. Like it just split, it just a, yeah, it's split completely. It's like a two tone basketball. Half ass head is just. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, no, no, no. My half is black face. <laughs> the other half is just still. What's up? No, dude, dude, you fucking. He only has the front and the neck, <laughs> yeah. but the back and the top of the head is not done because he can't see back there. So the back of his head is just white. And then he turns around and then it's just like, what's up? Oh, hey, Mike. Yo, what's good? Oh, what? Hey, I'm gl- thank God that you're here. Could you do the top of my head? No, no, I'm <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I'm not going to blackface the top of your head. You moron. What the fuck are you asking me? <laughs> oh, my you God. I think dude. there's like so many points where people could have been like, this is fucked up. That's what I'm saying. You can't. Do that. That's what had me crying. And also, laughing. as a teacher, how do you not know that that's not okay? <laughs> Dude, listen to him. He sounds like Robert Downey Jr., but in Tropic Thunder, but not doing a good job. <laughs> Opportunities limitless. Possibilities senseless. What will you do? Millions of people, not enough to eat. What will we do with AI, Microsoft technology? The future is up to you. You can do it with AI. <laughs> <laughs> with AI. <laughs> Can I see? With AI. <laughs> My man, dude. I think he realizes right at the end he's that like, this person is filming him. <laughs> he's like, because he goes oh. to like go into a, like a second verse and he's like, wait. And then it ends. <laughs> yeah, he did, yeah, he like, he like, he like gets the hands up. Like he's ready to go again. <laughs> Millions of people. What will we do with AI? AI. It's up to you. What you can do. Justin Trudeau had a damn pro. That's bad. <laughs> That's so bad. There's so many levels to that AI. There's so many <laughs> points in time where he could have he could have stopped. There's just so many hours before that happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you think he probably went to his wife and was like, "Babe, I got a really, I got some good plan for tomorrow's class. I'm gonna kill this shit. I'm gonna kill this shit. You're gonna fucking love it, dude." And then as he's explaining it, there's like five things where she's like, "And so, and you're gonna rap too? <laughs> yeah, just oh, oh. about what? In blackface? <laughs> no, 
all of those. None of it is good. None of that stuff's okay. <laughs> Dude, the half the the half submerged blackface is is hilarious. <laughs> Just quarter head like the front and the the top of the that he can't see, <laughs> but not the back and not the bottom. <laughs> It's just like one fourth of the pie, and just just to the eyelids. Ugh, that's so good. Fucking hell, dude! I that's was, so good. And me and my boys back home were just like crying, dude. <laughs> just like what? Did, did, was he like wiping off the makeup, feeling like, you know, like he killed it? That or like did did he feel like you know when girls put on their makeup to go meet a dude and they catch him with another girl, like they just go home and he's like, I'm a slut. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I can't believe I did that to myself. I'm I'm a hoe for him. I can't believe it. I I did that. <laughs> I'm a hoe for common. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We are we are in State College, Pennsylvania right yeah, we're now. We're in Penn State. I've never been hey, here. Hey, what's up Penn State? Literally the only thing I know about Penn State is what's that coach? <laughs> Sandusky, look, yeah, pedophile yeah. coach. Yeah, literally the only thing I know. Yeah, well, don't say that on stage tonight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, only thing I know is y'all had a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably get probably be pretty awkward. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> There's a point in the show where I could use that name and. Oh yeah, there is. I guess you could. You could <laughs> take a risk. Try it out and see. <laughs> take a risk. Yeah. That's, that's what comedy's about, man. If exactly. You're not ta- taking risks, dude. If you're not taking risks. If you're not name dropping pedophiles regularly in your set. <laughs> if you're not doing common blackface. If you're not doing common blackface and rapping about AI. Stop it. You're not taking risks. Stop it, You're dude. not you're truly taking. That's what he was doing, man. He's just <laughs> taking a risk. <laughs> He's trying to push the boundaries of education. Yeah, exactly. He's like, what? <laughs> I want to push the boundaries of education with AI. <laughs> And common. What can you do with technology? <laughs> it's up to you. I just imagine watching Tropic Thunder, just yeah. getting the lines down and shit. You don't even know who you are, man. <laughs> you don't even know who you are. Yes, I do. I'm a dude disguised as a dude playing another dude. <laughs> what dude are you? <laughs> Damn, Robert, you nailed that one. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Um, yo, shout out to... Uh, uh, salt and straw for stealing our idea. Oh yeah, right, mother. No, that's been that's actually nah, know. been that's, the flavor for like years now. They've been doing this turkey. So because some people reached, reached out and they were like, you know, salt and straw has a a turkey flavored ice cream that they come out with like every year, special flavor, Disgusting. featured flavor of Thanksgiving time. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, but it does actually legit taste like turkey. <laughs> that's so gross. It's dude. candied turkey skin. It is disgusting. It's not that bad. It's just a tiny bit savory. Dude, imagining the texture of ice cream tasting like poultry is just <laughs> so off-putting, dude. Yeah, we were talking yesterday about chicken pudding. Yeah, chicken pudding, yeah. <laughs> By the way, we got so many comments of people that said they vom- they threw up. <laughs> you guys got weak-ass stomachs. <laughs> dude. Chicken ice cream, that makes you fucking throw up? Bro, <clears throat> to be fair, I think I think my stomach's imbalanced, too. Like I could watch someone, like, die on live leak and I could be like oh man I'll feel a little something but like chicken ice cream yeah that makes my stomach go <laughs> actually by the way now that I'm saying that I, I realize I actually think it was from the poopy Greg thing that yeah, was, it was making that people one. throw up by the way his name is Naked Martin he's a UK icon apparently is he? yeah Naked Martin see we were close we called poopy it. Greg yeah poopy Greg <laughs> Naked Martin same thing Ar- arguably the same thing but yeah chicken pudding no, this no, is I, the new shit shout out to everyone who sent us that picture of that uh, oh, cho- yeah, right. those chocolate dipped wings with sprinkles on them. Yeah, that actually looked good. It's so funny the way that happens. <laughs> fucking the internet fucking sucks. <laughs> you can't say anything without someone being like, and "That exists." Actually, already. that exists. <laughs> like literally, chicken wings, chocolate chicken wings with sprinkles on them. The, that was posted the day our episode went live. <laughs> that should be. That should not. That should be a joke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That sh- no one should know. No one should be like, oh, yeah, there's chocolate chicken wings. There was some food blog being like, these look delicious. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) No, they don't. (laughs) You're ruining our fucking joke. (laughs) Making it real. Yeah, making it real. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck you. 
trying to make us seem like we're fucking simpletons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you joke, but that's real. That's <laughs> real. Yeah. No, suck my dick. <laughs> you you made it real just to sound cool. Yeah. No, actually, chocolate chicken wings. It's a, it's a Brooklyn <laughs> hole in the wall spot line every day around the corner. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking. Oh my god, I'm like, just my brain just went to like four things. What? First off, common AI blackface teacher going to get his chocolate chicken wings. <laughs> Standing, that's his favorite chocolate chicken wings. <laughs> that's a big, that's a big mashup of bits, right? Yeah, there. yeah, yeah <laughs> just fucking the ultimate. Just that dude dressed like common, standing in line for the chocolate chicken wings in Brooklyn. Yeah. AI. What? <laughs> Technology. It's up to you. Is this motherfucker homeless? What is he doing here? <laughs> I'm, AI. I'm gay. AI. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it? I'm fucking gay. <laughs> Speaking of gay, a shout out to our, our boy Wyatt. Um, he's our lighting guy. He's a he's a he's a proud gay man. Um he actually I got his blessing to tell this story. Uh Cause this is the funniest shit. So we were talking about haunted houses and we missed the funniest part of all. Oh of yeah. It. Right. <clears throat> so we're going through one of these haunted houses and one of the sections of the haunted house was, uh, how would you describe it? It was like two inflatable things on both <clears throat> sides. Yeah. Like two giant airbags. Yeah. Inflated like down a whole hallway that were <clears throat> touched, like inflated so much that it was touching each other. So you have to, like, so you have to just like, just jimmy yourself through this shit. Yeah. So it's, it's basically just really claustrophobic. Yeah. So this, like they use the same shit at another one where it was like, it was waist high and like, it looked like a bed of like fucking limbs and shit. And it, I thought that was cool. And there's like a dude like laying in it, like trying to scare you. Mm. You have to like walk past it and it like, it amps it up a little bit. Somebody going to grab my feet. What the fuck's going on here? This one was like, like, seven eight feet high like yeah. you're like immersed in this shit yeah and it's going on for like way too long a oh, way too long and I, like long enough for me to realize that hundreds of people have passed through it <laughs> so that part actually made me gag because i'm like <laughs> dude so many people have just like like just been through this yeah I'm just imagining like just rubbing germs with like Sweaty, thousands of people just, yeah yeah <clears throat> and so we're going through it and it's like uncomfortable and i'm like ah i'm like this is fucking nasty and then Wyatt goes, yeah, this is what I what I imagine pussy is like. <laughs> and we were joking that the scariest thing for the haunted house for Wyatt was having to go through pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Get outside. We're all scared of something else. And Wyatt's like, as a gay man, the vagina part scared me the most. <laughs> this is what I imagine pussy to feel like. Yeah, it does feel like this when I submerge my entire body <laughs> yeah. in a giant <laughs> vagina. This is what it feels like. <laughs> Walking through pussy. I think it was more of the fact sharing it with a bunch of guys. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of guys have been through here before. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Wyatt has, has uh, opened up our eyes to a lot of things. He's showing us how Grinder works. Grinder is the most dude app. This shit is crazy. <clears throat> I could not believe it. That shit is like, that shit is advanced. Yeah, you can filter by anything. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's fucked, but it's like, dude, it's... It's like it's dude shit to yeah. the core. Yeah. You but you brought up a good point that night. It's like straight dating is like what you want to be perceived as. And like gay dudes was like, no, it's like the hard numbers. Yeah, literal. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this tall, this weight, when I can fuck, where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like a big list. That's dating straight dating is like is like, yeah, you take someone out and you just you just act like, oh yeah, I read a lot of books and <laughs> it's like who you want to be seen as. You know what I mean? <laughs> gay dating is just like no, it's yeah. just hard. I'm just going to be honest. This is exactly who I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm 5'9", And if you're looking to fuck right now, <laughs> then let's do it. If not, there's plenty of other people within a mile of here that are down to fuck. You ever, uh, you, you ever wanted to give a guy who's 5'9", a blowjob? <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> I literally have 100 people waiting for me. <laughs> that are down to do it. <clears throat> I was like joking with Wyatt that like, gay, like grinder is like, like, I imagine like Wyatt's DMs are like what people wished their DMs looked like. Yeah. Just hundreds of people being like, let's fuck, let's fuck, let's fuck, let's yeah, go, yeah. let's go, let's go. You down, you down, you down, you down, you down. I'm sitting beside you in this coffee shop right now. You down? <laughs> like, will you bottom of the bathroom quick handy? Come out. Are you down? <laughs> like a regular gay dude probably gets as many DMs as like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. 
<laughs> yeah, Wyatt and the baby's inbox it looks exactly, <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that concept was killing me that a regular gay man gets as much ass as like someone like a famous person like yeah. who like works so hard like to be at that level. He's like, check it out. He's refreshing his inbox. It just pops 40 <laughs> just new messages <laughs> every time. The timer is one second on every single one of them. Yeah, man. It's like this all day. Look at this. <laughs> and want to fuck, want to fuck, want to fuck, want to fuck, every single one, want to fuck, You're hot, you're hot, you're hot, you're hot, you're hot. Yeah, it's like all all day. If I ever feel a little bit down, I just... So, oh, look at that shit. 700 people want to <laughs> fuck me. That's, that's, that's nice. That's nice. I don't need any reassurance today. Thank the you. categories are crazy, like how they categorize. <laughs> oh, yeah. Twinks, twonks. Yeah. Tw- otters, bears. Yeah. Uh, leather. Leather. That's just, a, just leathers. And, bro, the, the coldest one is discreet. What is that? Uh, that's, like, I assume, Discreetly like, Discreetly gay? Yeah, just, like, in the closet. Mm. Just discreet. That's like fucking Ashley Madison tried to make a whole business out of that category. Yeah. And that's just a feature of Grindr. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little, just a, just a little on, oh, a, yeah. on a selection wheel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're in the closet? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Discreet, yeah. <clears throat> we'll still fuck. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> no one's judging you. Literally. <laughs> oh, man. Twink. Twink. Twangy twinks. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Twinks, of- twinks, twonks. Yeah. Like, what if they got, like, the main category and the subcategory? Yeah. Gamer twinks. Gwinks. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our gaming syndicate. <laughs> Gwinks. <laughs> gaming twinks? Yeah, gaming twinks. <laughs> Skinny men who could be could pass as gay. Yeah. Skinny gamers who could pass as gay. <laughs> Gwink, Gwink Gwinks. passing. Gwinks. Gwink passing. <laughs> <laughs> If gamer was a category on Grinder, oh, that'd be so funny. Oh my god, dude. And that's literally the only non-sexual category. <laughs> that's the only place that has like every kind of person. <laughs> Grinder for gamers. <laughs> Do you need to find someone to grind with? <laughs> MMOs, Counter-Strike, Fortnite. We got all kinds here on <laughs> Grinder.com. <clears throat> I always thought like I forgot who I used to work with this gay dude at my first job and like um, I f- we got in some discussion because our, our senior front end dev like he grinder like offered him crazy money to work there. Okay. And like in the like, they must make a <laughs> fuck ton of money. No, they make it. Like that's also another thing I noticed is that like the so one of the like upsell menus popped up or whatever. Yeah. And it was like the options for like account oh, types dude. I guess and like statuses was crazy. You yeah. could be like four bucks a month for like you know, it, it was something like crazy, like unlimited DMs and like all the, like the shit you want the most, like it's all thought out completely. Yeah, yeah. It's like the shit you'd want the most and like yeah. the upsell mechanics were like crazy specific and <clears throat> thought out. Yeah. And I was why, like, they must bank, why, dude. Why it was telling me like you could spend up to like 200 a year on that app. Yeah. Or like, like more like, yeah. he's, he's, I don't know. I think the number was higher. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so my boy, I'm not going to say his name, but he said that in the interview, <clears throat> He's like, I don't know if this was legal, but in the interview, whoever's interviewing him kind of like made a statement. It was vague that basically said like, look, like we get it. Like if you're not comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like, or like if you're afraid of how like working here will like affect like your social like image, like in your own circle, okay. you know, cause like they're basically acknowledging that he's straight. Okay. Um, and like the guy was like, but you know, we, uh, we try to compensate for that. And then my, like he said in the interview, it just, the statement kind of escaped him. <clears throat> and then when he got the offer, he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. The only reason he didn't take it was the drive. Oh, holy shit. But he was like, dude, he's like, that number was insane. Really? Yeah. Like front end, like it wasn't even like a senior role. It was like front end, like <clears throat> web dev type work. And they were up like. Are they independent or are they owned by one of the big dating I don't know corps? anymore. I, th- I want to say they sold, but maybe not. I'm going to Google it real quick. But I'm dude, curious. I th- he said that they offered him like, because you know, like front end uh, web dev, um, there's kind of a cap on that. Crunch base. I'll look it. But he basically, he got like a senior iOS dev salary offer. Damn. <laughs> to do fucking front end web. Acquired by Kunlun. Damn. Kunlun. Acquired by cum? Damn. How much was it acquired for? Let's see. <clears throat> Probably a fuckload of money. 
They probably bank so much money, nah, dude. Grinder probably makes a shitload oh, of cash. Oh, it's China. It's a Chinese company. Yeah, so you know it makes a ton of dollars. Damn, dude. They acquired a sixty percent stake in twenty sixteen for a hundred million bucks. That's it's actually not that much. That's not that much, no. <sighs> hmm. But I mean, hundred mil to get out. I take a hundred mil. Yeah, totally. That's crazy. Hmm. Yeah. So shout I just out. feel like dating apps are so like sticky. What do you mean? They're just like sticky. It's like the retention is super fucking high. At least like for people that use them a lot. Yeah. I've like it's like when Tinder came came out with the with the monetization shit, yeah. I was like, oh, this is it's not gonna work at all. And mm-hmm. then like everyone I knew that was on Tinder was like buying the fucking premium shit so they could super like and yeah. like, do all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't man. <clears throat> I've never used one. Literally yeah. never used one. Yeah. Does I mean you're not really missing much, honestly? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> There's some people that like power use those apps. Yeah. But I mean, I never even went on one Tinder date when I was on Tinder. Damn. Yeah. Rip. Crazy. <laughs> what are we at? <laughs> we can <getting, laughs> guess I'm saying that. What? You can't say that anymore. Well, no, I just want you know. Yeah. <clears throat> want to make sure you get some notes in? Well, just, you know. He got some jokes? Yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, you got some jokes yeah. you want to say? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's hot as fuck in this room, it's though. It's so hot, dude. Let me open up that door, it's bro. So it's so fucking hot. It is dead. Yeah, open up the door. Oh, real quick. Sorry, gang. <sighs> um, So tomorrow's last the last show. Oh. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What? Tomorrow's the last one. And then cause tomorrow's Friday. Wow. And then I'm going to New York on Saturday for a Real Bros panel. So if you're in New York and you want to come see, I don't know if there's tickets still available or not, but just search New York Comedy Festival Real Bros panel if you want to see me, Jimmy, Christian. Nick's going to be there and Colleen from the show. Uh, we're going to be doing a panel in New York. I, I don't know, just talking <clears throat> about Real Bros and like w- making the show, I guess. My nerves should be fun. Killing me. Sorry. Um. Yeah. No. That should so be come good see time. that. You got. Um. <clears throat> you gotta. You gotta go there and just like one up everybody and just method act the whole thing. <laughs> well, the guy did today. So we like did this conference call, and the guy was like, <laughs> the guy was like, yeah, I don't know if you guys feel comfortable like maybe coming on stage like in character. And Jimmy was like, I'm gonna nix that right now. <laughs> I was like, cool. Yeah, no, cool. I figured I figured maybe that wouldn't be cool. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. That's all good. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Hi, as the director, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, totally. Um, totally. <laughs> How would that even work? You guys aren't dressed. You don't have the wardrobe. I, I don't know. Just like rock a snapback backwards and answer <laughs> questions in a douchey way, I guess, which is what I'm going to do anyway. So <laughs> it's pretty much not. It's pretty much just me to be me. <laughs> Come out in character, just Jimmy in a full suit, but trying to do Xander <laughs> <laughs> with a little soul patch. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Leave it open. Sorry, everyone's like, you guys got the door open during the recording. Is that cool? Yeah, <clears throat> no, it's fine. That's how. That's, that's how, helping a lot though. That yeah. AC flowing in here. That's how dialed in our people are, man. Yes, yeah. everybody. I don't know. Sorry, I'm I'm getting sentimental again. <laughs> <clears throat> I just appreciate how dialed that. in the the team is, man. <laughs> Chris is working and he just comes over here. He's like, you want this? Mm-hmm. It's no, good. It's sick. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. But yeah, keep that. Keep those eyes. Keep those beady little eyes peeled for our announcement on Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Chris is working on something it's for that. Blow your mind. small minds. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Calling everybody small brained. Damn. Why can't I? What? That's mean, dude. You can't say that. You Man, you're I'm joking. <laughs> Getting on my ass about calling them losers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people. I'm said just I, kidding. People said I got triggered because I heard the word loser, and it was like everyone was bullied. You, huh? <laughs> no, no, they didn't. <laughs> I didn't get bullied. I didn't get bullied ever. I was a bully. Okay, I was a cool guy. I, was I cool. called other people losers. Yeah, I was a jock. <laughs> I was totally, to- totally a jock. Yeah, I was, dude. Yeah, I was, was a diver. <laughs> I was a big time jock. Walk around. High school with my speedo on. <laughs> Show off my package. Yeah. I was a jock. I was a big time jock. Yeah. Bald headed with tall white tees and Timberlands. I was a huge jock. <laughs> huge jock. <laughs> yeah, bro. <clears throat> what else? No, 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 no. Hold on. 
There was so <laughs> much shit. <laughs> oh, wait, speaking of earlier, uh, talking about the A E Y O U I. Yeah. There's a wonderful subreddit, which, you know, I don't even know why it's called a subreddit. I've never yeah. been there. And there being. Don't know Reddit. what that is, but keep going. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, called Off My Chest. <clears throat> and there was a big one uh, that popped up. And <laughs> the title was I Hate Being a Mother. <laughs> Ooh. And it was a girl who got pregnant very young. She's like, now, just let me preface. I know that me getting pregnant is 100% on me. That said, I hate. It's, here it is. I hate being a mom. It's my biggest regret of my entire life. <clears throat> and she's talking about how, you know, she loves her son. She takes good care of her son, but she gets this depression. Because I guess she had, like, a good-paying job and, like, a career. And then okay. she had obviously had to stop become a mom because she was too young and uh she says she gets so depressed that she doesn't want to get out of bed and she's always getting anxiety attacks and um because the the bottom line is that her being a single mother she never gets a second to to do anything okay literally every thought of hers is interrupted by the kid and everything like nothing is simple when having a kid especially by yourself jesus yeah and one guy had you know the most helpful reddit comment i think i've ever read okay. which is well you know some people aren't meant to be parents it's like no <laughs> no no motherfucker no one is meant to take care of a kid by themselves you dumb dick you wouldn't fucking be able to handle that yeah what are you talking about bro yeah. anyone would fucking fold under the pressure dude a, a kid by yourself you're like 20 yeah. no one's helping you you don't know what the fuck you're doing yeah fuck off man yeah yeah that's true you don't there know. are some people though that have like 20 kids that just do it somehow. Yeah, but like some people fucking love being parents. Yeah, I guess. But I don't I don't I guess what what she's Also, just, if you're the type of person that like hates kids? Yeah. Yeah. Like if you just hate kids, some yeah. people just hate them. You know, I read that post and it made me wonder how I feel about kids. <laughs> it made me want to have a child, made honestly. Want to have a child, honestly. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's actually plans for 2020. <laughs> Goals. I don't know. That's my New Year's resolution. Goals, yeah, have a baby. Yeah, I'm gonna lose weight. I think I'm gonna, you know, speak up more in meetings. I'm gonna have a kid, <laughs> huh? Pump out a kid, at least one. Yeah, I might shoot for two or five. You know, or five. I'm gonna have as many kids as I can <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> That's really the goal. Is I want to get <laughs> as many kids as possible. <laughs> if we can get all in one go, if we can get six out of there in one go, I'd love that. <laughs> I told you about my buddies, my my good friend's friend who him and his wife like decided they wanted to have kids and he was like, you know, it takes usually a year to conceive on average. Yeah. So he's like, okay, I got a year left of being <laughs> uh, like, you know, a single or not single, but, but like, you know, yeah, yeah. not like, having a child, like yeah. a year of my life where I can just fuck off and play video games as much as I want. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Yeah. Super stoked year. They conceived within the first week <laughs> twins, twins, he went from having no kids to having two, nine months from when they wanted to have first one to have a kid. <laughs> My buddy's like, damn. So how's that been? He's like, that's been rough, yeah. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, yeah, I'm not going to lie, bro. That, <laughs> that fucked my whole year up. Yeah. Yeah, it fucked it all up. I don't it's know. Crazy. Man. Speaking of kids, man, listen, if you are a kid or if you have kids or if you're a teen, even acne breakouts are unavoidable. <laughs> oh okay. God. They are. They happen to all of us. There are days that, you know, something important will happen and suddenly a pimple appears out of nowhere. Boom. Oh, what boom. the fuck? And it feels impossible to look good. But now, guess what? With Proactive MD, you have the solution. It's America's number one acne brand. And Proactive has helped fight acne for almost <laughs> stop laughing. Almost 25 years. Um, it's great. I use the face wash in the shower. It keeps me, keeps me fresh. keeps me looking clean. <sighs> uh, it contains adipaline, which is the newest acne-fighting innovation made available to over-the-counter consumers in over 30 years. Mm. Um, it may decrease the number and severity of acne pimples and promote quick healing of pimples that do develop. And right now, for our podcast listeners, you can get an exclusive offer only available by going to proactive.com slash gang. <laughs> With this exclusive podcast only offer, you will you will receive for free Proactive's on the go bag. That's what it's called, which features their T Zone oil absorber, body acne wipes, and green tea moisturizer. Close to a hundred dollar value. There's also a sixty day money back guarantee. So don't wait. Go to proactive.com slash gang to get this podcast only offer. Again, go to proactive.com slash gang. 
to order and get clear skin for the win. <laughs> hey, for the <clears throat> win. You know, you, you know, fellas, you ever um, you, you ever you ever put on your your hot your hot denim, hot denim sexy jeans, and you're like, yeah, if only these could be a little bit more comfortable. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you know, Muggsy jeans they have the most comfortable comfortable men's jeans ever made and that's no exaggeration okay mugsies are real jeans that literally feel as comfortable as sweatpants wow okay you know why because the magic is in mugsies proprietary fabrics which include a high a blend of high-tech materials that make these jeans mind-blowingly soft (laughs) blow that little mind of yours head-blowingly soft and flexible best of all mugsies come in a stylish fit that's not too baggy but not too tight so you look even better than you feel if you want comfortable jeans that look good, Muggsy jeans are for you. And the guys at Muggsy are so confident that you'll love them. They offer free USA shipping and they offer free USA shipping and returns so your comfort is 100% guaranteed. Do your legs a favor, okay? Grab your own pair of jeans that are sweeping the nation by heading to Muggsy.com. That is M-U-G-S-Y.com and use code TMG for $10 off. Again, that's Muggsy.com. And use the code TMG for ten dollars off your first pair of Muggsy jeans. Here's a question. Let me propo- let me propose a question real quick. Which of your online <clears throat> searches does the government have a right to know about? All right. Here, I'll give you three options, and you can pick. Okay. Best recipes. Okay. So let's say that's one of your searches. Or, um, or chocolate chicken places in Brooklyn. Chocolate chicken places in Brooklyn. Yeah. L- what's the line like at that place? Yeah. Okay. Or, um, best games online flash games did, what did, which of those search terms does the government have the right to know <coughs> zero that's the right answer okay look with express vpn the government will not know about that um it encrypts and reroutes your web traffic to any number of countries keeping you safer and secure express vpn is the fastest vpn that i've tried personally i actually use it Every single time I open my computer, it turns on, and then I'm safe. Yeah. Uh, it costs less than $7 per month and comes with a 30-day 30 30 money-back guarantee. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash TMG. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash TMG for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash TMG to learn more. And, you know, last but not least, you know, guys, let's – even though we're the Tiny Meat Gang podcast, when it comes to meat, you know, the quality matters. And not everyone has convenient access to high-quality meat. But luckily, there's ButcherBox. ButcherBox believes everyone deserves high-quality, humanely sourced meat. So this uh, Thanksgiving, do dinner right with ButcherBox. Every month, ButcherBox ships a curated selection of high-quality meat right to your home, okay? Uh, Which means one less trip to the grocery store. All the meat is free of antibiotics, added hormones. It's packed fresh, shipped frozen, and vacuum-sealed. So it stays that way. Uh, every box is 9 to 11 pounds of meat, enough for 24 individual meals. Okay, they got a bunch of options. 100% grass-fed. <laughs> well, for other people. What I would mean? eat that in one meal. Oh, right, right. I yeah. eat 9 to 11 pounds of meat yeah. in one meal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry yeah. to interrupt. No, it's fine. Yeah, frankly, me, that's just lunch. <laughs> <clears throat> 10 pounds of meat? In one go. Oh, she's fucking halfway through. <laughs> Only five more to go. Now, look, they got all kinds of options, all right? 100% grass-fed, finished beef, uh, free-range organic chicken, heritage pork, wild-caught Alaskan salmon, sh- and sugar nitrate-free bacon. Bacon. Um, you know, for all you uh, for-the-win guys out there. <laughs> now, with Thanksgiving right around the corner, this is the perfect time to give Butcher Box, Butcher Box a try. Sign up today and get a free turkey plus $20 off your first box. Okay, just go to butcherbox.com slash TMG or enter the promo code TMG at checkout. That's butcherbox.com slash TMG or enter the promo code TMG at checkout for a free turkey and $20 off your first box. That's a free turkey. Dude. Free turkey, you turkeys. <laughs> Listen to that. Jesus. God damn Maybe it. We just got to read them faster or something or just, yeah. Because I want to joke around in the middle of them because it just dude, makes I'm it more cr- fun. I was crying because you go, you get a pimple on your face. <laughs> boom. What the <laughs> fuck? I already know. I already know that's coming back. Um, don't curse during the read. <laughs> boom. What the fuck? Is that a fucking pimple on my face, dude? <laughs> so get. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shit! That's what they're going to complain yeah, about. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's fine. on the brand. It's that's, proactive. It's proactive. Proactive. Whatever. Whatever. Proactive. <laughs> Just say it five times so that proactive. 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 Now they can't get mad. 
Okay. It's the, proactive. The read was for proactive. Proactive. Pimple, pimple stuff. <laughs> Just have Kyle mute what I said. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. <clears throat> I, I say that, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, yeah. We'll leave that shit right in. All right. So hold on. So back to oh, the- Here, I want to- well, I got something- Back to what? You go first. Um, but then we can talk about something else after. Um, I, was, I was going back to the off my chest thing, but wait. Wait, 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 I'm not, we don't got to dive into this, but it's a relationship advice. Okay. I just want to read this one. Okay. I, 18 male, had a fling over vacation with an older woman, early 40s. She recently told me that she is pregnant with my child. Oh. Wait, wait, what was it? <laughs> wait, what's up? Is this your post? <laughs> 18 male, had a fling over vacation with an older woman. In her Ooh. early 40s, and she hit him up and said, I'm pregnant. Ooh. Damn. Wow. Damn. What do you do? Beat that cougar pussy up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got that shit pregnant, dog. <laughs> Did what her husband couldn't. <laughs> Damn. He's like, I'm pregnant. He's like, hell yeah, you are. <laughs> He's like, that's my good nut. <laughs> Got that young nut. That's why you pregnant, bitch. Respectfully, <laughs> I'm gonna call you a bitch because you my bitch. Damn, that's Love crazy. You. you never see you. You know, you hear about teen moms a lot. You never hear about teen dads. Yeah, teen dad, teen dad, and that good old cougar puss. I was watching the show Modern Love on on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, and like that happens in one of the episodes. The she she enough. sleeps with some guy and she gets pregnant. I think it's in the first episode actually, and she like meets up with him. And she's like, "I'm pregnant," and he's like, "Damn," and she's like, "Yeah, you know." You don't have to be involved if you don't want. He's like, great, thanks. <laughs> and then that was that. And I was like, Jesus, fuck, dude. Just instantly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck oh my it. God. Thank you. That's a huge weight off my Bro, shoulders. I appreciate you. you. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank Damn. you so much. Damn. Stay in touch. Yeah. Hit me up. Yeah. Hit me up. Dude, no. Because 18 year old, that's mad professional. Because when I hit here 18, that I picture her texting him like, I'm, I'm pregnant. And he's like, bruh. Don't cap, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't fucking cap. <laughs> You're pregnant. You're like 40. La, 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 la. What? <laughs> you old AF. How the fuck you pregnant? Bruh. Yo, yo I'm pregnant. Okay, boomer. <laughs> 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 I'm pregnant, SpongeBob meme. Okay, boomer. <laughs> 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 Michael, I have Bruh, stage three. <laughs> Mal. <laughs> just a picture of it's just like a shitty selfie from like here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you're pregnant. <laughs> Damn, this bitch pregnant. <laughs> Michael, I have stage three cancer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Get more cancer, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Babe, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Just goes to all of his friends. Lol, I'm a dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a dad, bro. I'm a dad, bro. I'm a dad, Lamau. Lamau, I'm a dad. Fuck, lol. Lol, y'all gonna make TikToks together? <laughs> Capital LOL, dude. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be so sick. <laughs> LMFAO, Mike, you would get a cougar pregnant. Mm -hmm. That's so you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of, like one of my favorite fucking tweets ever. What? Who was it that tweeted this? Probably uh, Bobby or someone like yeah, that. Yeah, probably Carly Rae Jepsen or something. Yeah, Carly Rae. Yeah. It was like it was like a group chat. <laughs> oh my god, what was it? I'm not gonna butcher it. I'm not gonna read it because it was. <laughs> I'm not gonna fine. try and rehearse it because recite it. I mean, <laughs> no, bro. The other thing I want to bring up. I know you want to bring something up, but I have to talk about this. What? Actually, you you said you want to say something a second ago, and I'll look this <clears> up. <throat> okay. Go ahead. Well, I was, I was so Matt told me to watch this fucking episode of the Rogesters podcast. Oh yeah, Joe Rogue. Oh yeah, and uh, I'll dip into some Rogester, you know, every now and then. Every I'll now I'll, again. I'll watch some Rogue. Jamie. <laughs> and uh, he had this. He did an episode with Tom Segura, Bert Kreischer, and Ari Sh Ari Schaefer. Ari Schaefer. Ari Schaefer. Schaefer. <laughs> and so they do this shit called Sober October or whatever, and I guess like. 
in the final week or whatever, Ari and Bert were going to do a podcast. And so Ari came over to Bert's house Mm -hmm. and spiked his drink with Molly. Mm Mm-hmm. And then they mm-hmm. did the podcast, and he starts, like, rolling halfway. Th- and he didn't know. He didn't fucking know. He's, like, leaving the next day on tour. Yeah, he's leaving on tour, and it was the last night. Like, he could spend with, like, his kids With his, and his kids. Family. And so he yeah. had to stay by to his kids rolling on Molly, and then he got on a plane. He was still rolling. Yeah. And then he had to, like, fucking feel dumb as shit the next day when he had shows and shit like that. Yeah. So they're all in a room talking about this on a podcast, and they're, like, I like... They were mad, but at the same time, it was, like... Like, dude, if someone fucking drugged me, one of yeah. my friends, yeah. I would just disown that person. I would just never talk to them again. <laughs> right? I, mean, I don't, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know their friend dynamic. I mean, they might be forgiving of that because it's Ari, but... It was, cr- it was really, really uncomfortable to watch. If you want to watch like a really uncomfortable 20 minutes on a podcast, but also very interesting, go just look up the clip of that. It's fucked, dude. It's fucked. I, I, I still haven't watched that full thing. I, I need to. Um, <clears throat> thing I wanted to talk about. This shit, this clip is crazy. This dude is, his name is Stephen McDaniel, okay? And he murdered a fellow, uh, like, colleague of his. He's in law school. He okay. murdered one of his colleagues. But he finds out they found the body on television during an interview. So they're interviewing him, asking him about <clears throat> what happened to her. And he just keeps saying, he's like, I, but no one knows. I mean, some people thought... Maybe she went running and she got picked up, but we have no idea what happened. We we just have no idea. And then the uh, the reporter says something to the effect of like, so, "So how do you you know? Do you guys have any comments? You know, now that they've they found a body in the parking lot?" And he was like, "They they found a body." She's like, "Yeah, they it's not confirmed, but they found a body in in the parking lot." just like over wherever they specify. And he's like, I think I need to sit down. And he like sits down and he's like, he's like, you could tell like, he's like going to vomit. Cause like, yeah, he's fucked. He did it. He did it. He fucking, Wait, when was this? Uh, in 20 or uh, no, 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 no. Hold on. When was this? Um, 2011. Okay. It's old. Yeah. Okay. It's old. Can I see this clip? I mean, yeah, it's as long as hell. Oh, it is. That's why I didn't play it. Yeah, it's like fucking three minutes long. Just fast three forward to the good minutes. To good to the good shit. I can't even talk, dude. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm not enunciating any words. I'm fried, bro. I slept for like ten hours last night. I'm same chilling. I don't. Okay. It's eleven minutes. It happens somewhere in here. So why did he kill her? So that. I Ah, it's like proactive. <laughs> <laughs> you get a pimple on your face. Boom. What the fuck? What the fuck? The ad just won't play. Okay. Well, good. That was fun. <laughs> Fucking whatever. It's okay. Dude, he, uh, so he was basically stalking her. Okay. He had like this webcam that he would put like on like a, effectively like a selfie stick. Good. Yeah. And good. he would put it up to her window. Oh, good. To get a feel of when she was coming home. Yeah. 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 And then he puts it together that she's home alone one night. Breaks in there. Strangles her. And then dismembers her body. Mm. Into multiple pieces. Charming. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Serving a life sentence. Yeah. Well, as he should be. Yeah, as he should be. Yeah. Fucking unfortunate, dude. Damn. That's sick as fuck, dude. It literally sick in the head. Yeah. Fucked up. It's like sick when <clears throat> when you're fucking holding up a selfie. St- like it's no no part of your brain that's like, ah. Where what where are we? Definitely that guy doing. No. no. What are they, we doing? Dude, they show his there's a there's a recording of his like I don't know if you'd call it his deposition, but like basically after they take they, they take him in and they're doing the classic, you know. All right, where the fuck were you? Yeah. And he is so mm. cold about it. He's just kind of like, yes, no, yes. He's like just not just like devoid of empathy, just mm. staring the guy in the eyes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then the, the theory was that he would have gone on to be like one of those like Ted Bundy type motherfuckers. Really? If he wasn't caught. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
<clears throat> well, that's good. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Just, yeah. <laughs> just really, yeah. Just really killed the vibe with that one. Sorry. You vibe killed check. the vibe. Yeah. Vibe check. That's just my fucking, this is my, I don't know. You dismembered the vibe there. <laughs> I Stephen McDaniel the vibe. <laughs> I tracked down the vibe and just cut it into a million pieces. <laughs> Dude, you, gotta, you just fucking Ted Bundy the vibe, dude. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? What is your problem, yeah, dude? You're like bro. the Ted Bundy of vibes, of dude. vibes right now, dude. You follow every vibe, you pull up, and you just fucking sever that shit into a million pieces, and then you fuck <laughs> it up, dude. What the fuck is your problem, bro? Yeah, Jesus, fucking Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Ted Bundy of vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got to use that if you're in college. You got to start telling people that shit when they fuck the vibe up. You're like the Ted Bundy of vibes, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Every fucking vibe, dude. You just got to... <laughs> you're murdering the vibe. <laughs> you're literally like stabbing it and cutting it into a million pieces and putting it in trash bags and then putting it in vats of acid that are stored in the forest. <laughs> Jesus. You're the fucking Iceman of vibes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> that Have should, fun rotting in prison, vibe killer. <laughs> that should be some stupid fucking that should be like the next season of uh was that Netflix show where they parody fucking Yeah, like American Vandal. Yeah, American Vandal. But like season who killed three. the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb, dude. <laughs> it's so dumb. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> so dumb, dude. <laughs> uh <laughs> You know what? You got to watch Watchmen. You got to watch that shit. New it, show on HBO. It was three o'clock and, you know, I was just like, I was getting ready for the party that night and I don't know, something fell off. <laughs> Are you still on that? I don't know, something felt weird that day, but I just like couldn't put my finger on what. Yeah, like me and the girls were just like, you know, we were just like getting like some fucking, you know, black market for Loco. We like had a plug who like found like a distributor and like they still had, like some cans lying around. So we're like dope. <laughs> and like we bought up like 10 cans because we're like, we're going to get fucked up. Like our dads like drank this shit and got fucking killed off it. So we're like, <laughs> let's go. And so, yeah, like we just picked up those cans and like we didn't really think anything was a problem. Like we knew we knew Trevor was like kind of weird, but like we're like, whatever, it'll be fine. So we, we got him a can too. And then you know, once we got to the party, things were just weird. How do you feel now Now knowing that they've found a vibe outside in the parking lot? Wait, there's a vibe in the parking lot? Yeah, they just found one in the trunk of a car in a parking lot two miles away. They found one. What kind of vibe was it? Uh, it was a, it was like a kickback kind of vibe. Nothing too crazy. Mostly just, yeah, some people hanging out. But you know, it was getting pretty fun. Y'all got any four loco? I'm, I'm kind of fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was an, an interview with <laughs> Chad. Chadson, Chad Trevor, the most prolific vibe killer of the 20th century. <laughs> Chad ran multiple mar multi-level marketing schemes in which he would try to uh, goad clubs into giving him full control, uh, and wherein he would try to outsource ticket sales to other college students. Uh, Chad was notorious for spinning up various club events featuring artists like Riff Raff and. Um, Travis Scott, who would later uh, be discovered as never part of the bill, and they would just be his roommates dressed up as either Riff Raff or Travis Scott, um, universally known as a massive vibe killer <laughs> across college campuses. Who's that kid? Ah, he's a fucking Ted Bundy of vibes, dude. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. He brought that random fucking... Who is that? Nobody knows that kid. <laughs> Awful. I wonder if that kid in in uh, fucking College Station ever found out that we were like roasting him on stage. We're not gonna say his name because fuck that kid. But yeah, yeah. Did he find out? I don't think so. Okay. Even if he did, I don't. I don't think the ego. I think the ego <laughs> is too thick. To, yeah. To penetrate. Yeah. That's, that's the Ted Bundy of vibes right there. Yeah. Bro. Seriously. That fucking <clears throat> has the charisma of a fucking car salesman. God mm -hmm. damn. 
<laughs> yeah, kids. Granted, suck. though, those guys are pretty charismatic sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, they can be. They can be. No, but seriously, you got to watch Watchmen. No, I, I'm, I want to. It's one of those shows where I'm three episodes in, three hour long episodes. I still have no idea what the fuck is happening, <laughs> but it's like shot cool. So I'm just down to watch it. Like, yeah, whatever. The cool shit happens. I just, I don't know what yeah. it means. Yeah, I fuck with it. Whatever this is. Let's and then it. I go back on, I go on Reddit and read the discussion thread. Not that I go on Reddit yeah. and read discussion threads, but <laughs> I do that after the episode and I still, it still makes nothing. People are like, oh, Dr. Man, that's Dr. Manhattan. It's gotta be, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I read the I read the fucking book too. Damn. I read the Watchmen book and I watched the movie. Wow. I'm so. still lost. I'm just dumb. So you're just a big old idiot, is what you're saying. I am dumb. Just a big old fucking dipshit. It sucks. I'm a dolt. Dolt. Yo. Um, I say we we get into this, man. The the everyone's favorite part of the podcast. What? Where we talk about combat sports. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Because <clears throat> we got a huge... I actually watched the fight, so we can actually talk about it. We have that, but we also have a super fight this weekend. Oh, Logan, Logan Paul, Paul and KSI? Versus KSI. KSI. Yeah, yeah. Super fight. So I didn't realize it's at fucking Staples Center. Yeah, and the tickets were selling like dog shit. They're not really. I So when fucking I saw that Keemstar tweet or whatever, I went yeah. and actually looked. Because he... Posted a screenshot of like Ticketmaster of the seat map, yeah. And the way they do it is like it's gray or it's blue if there's if there's like tickets available. Yeah, if there's tickets beside each other available, still that's how they do it. So when you look at it from like a bird's eye view, it seems like there's not many tickets. But if you drill in, if you actually click the sections, yeah, a lot of those tickets are sold. Okay, it's probably so. like a couple thousand or like a thousand tickets that like haven't been sold yet. Which won't feel like a lot in the grand no. scheme. It's like ten thousand cap or something like that. Stables? I thought it was like twenty two. Is it? Uh, Stables is massive. Or huh. yeah, I don't know. Google it. I'm, I might be over. I just can't believe that they can move that many tickets. I can. Who gives a shit about that shit anymore? Like even <clears throat> I don't know. They they have a die they have a diehard fan base. So the, you know to ours that's probably what people think when they look at us, dude. Those fucking idiots can tour. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Those fucking <laughs> morons. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, who gives a fuck? TMG. Fucking tiny what gang? <laughs> fuck those guys. I'm def- <laughs> definitely going to watch it. No, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, no one, may, if, I feel like that type of event attracts people who don't give a shit. Dude, fucking, some people we know, they're like, they're flying in. They got an Airbnb. They got front row tickets. Like, they're gassed about it. Who? Fucking. Wow, okay. Yeah. Huh. I don't want to. I don't want to dox nobody. But no, no, it's fine. I just. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you make it like a thing and you make it, in a, it's just the problem is it's like people will tune in to watch those two get their ass beat. That that it's, it's not going to be good though. That's the thing. Like no. remember the fucking last fight? Yeah. It was it was a mess. It was trash. So what the fuck am I watching? But I think that's the thing, dude. Is it has this appeal? It's like you want to watch it to hate it. It's yeah. like yeah, you, you know it's going to be bad. You know it's going to be dog shit and like. But everyone is buying a ticket. They want to go on the fucking chance, dude. Yeah. Somebody gets knocked out. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about it, so. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, people care, people for sure. People fucking care. It's I'm, like I care, but like I, I care in like a don't care way, you know? <laughs> I care in a don't care. I just care. like don't care. That's but, the most you know, LA shit you've yeah. ever said. I care in a don't care way. Um, Like yeah. I definitely want to see what happens. So here's the thing. Is, yeah, I guess I do care. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's oh, wonderful. Coming yeah. straight Great. through. Awesome. Um, fucking yeah, I, I really wonder what J, uh, fucking JJ strategy is going to be. He needs to cover up. Yeah. Cause now that there's no headgear and it's smaller gloves, mm, but someone's going to get knocked out. The thing is JJ's got some hands, dude. He's knocked out his training partners. Yeah. Clapped them. Really? You know, and, 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 you know, Logan's an athlete. It's not that he's not strong. I really question what his cardio is actually like, you know, like that's the, that I said, I said the same shit last time I say it again. I say it every single time. It's the most like basic observation about fighting in general, but it's like, you can train, you can have all that fucking, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But like when you step in there, it's like your body, like it either, it has like the fucking response. That's like, I'm going to murder this motherfucker or it's not. Yeah. And that is such like a massive difference that, is the difference of like, that's what makes Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal. So that's what makes them great fighters. Yeah. 
is they have that fucking switch where they bite down. Yeah. Nate, Nate is took five knockout shots that fight. And I know, he got man. he got right back up and was like, "What's up, dog? I'm yeah. gonna slap you in the fucking face, fool." That fight was awesome. Jorge is in insane form, dude. Yeah, that guy is a monster. Yeah, and it might. You know, <clears throat> I'm glad he moved up. You know, I don't. I don't. I. I've watched him fight for so long. It's such a blur to me at like what weight classes he's been at. I okay. know he used to fight at 155. And he moved up to 170, and since then, he's had two insane knockouts. Also, it's because he... So, I told you a story, right? Maybe. His career was kind of like, you know, win a couple, lose one. Yeah. Win one, lose one. It was just kind of like... it. it it's not that he wasn't bad. It was just like, you know, sometimes he'd lose on points or, or he'd get subbed. And, you know, a lot of it was he used to... You know, I think I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, I believe he said in the past... He used to worry a lot about his cardio mm -hmm. and he would like maybe lose some fights on scoring because he wouldn't open up because he would be afraid that if he, if he let his gas go, he'd gas himself and yeah. lose the fight. And, and unintentionally, he just ended up doing that to himself. <clears throat> so um, he, he agreed to do some reality show in like South America or something okay. or Latin America is Latin America. And he, um, Part of the reality show was him going into the woods and just like disconnecting from everything. And he like, he said like he did that and he had like just some, some like life epiphany and like the way he phrased it, he's like, uh, it made me realize I got to come back and I got to baptize these fools. <laughs> That's how he says it. And since he's come back, he's knocked out Darren Till. He need fucking Ben Askren in the head hard as fuck. And he had a pretty, here's the thing. Nate Diaz fans, I respect them. I love Nate. I love the Diaz brothers. Everyone believes that in those fourth and fifth rounds, shit was going to turn around. I think Nick could have won maybe those two rounds if he uh, got back to like his regular, you know, uh, sort of pace in those rounds. You know, he said like, oh, I, I was hurt. So I, uh, you know, I was waiting for those fourth and fifth rounds to like really get busy. But like his fourth and fifth rounds, he always, he hasn't won all of them. Like when you look at, those fights where he's gone the distance, he doesn't, he hasn't won those rounds. Yeah. You know, the thing that, the thing I saw was that Nate usually dictates the pace. He's in your face. He's slapping you. He's doing that shit 15, 20 minutes in a row. That's what breaks fighters down. That's why fighters like they get scared of him. Yeah. But you saw Jorge, Jorge he was commanding the whole thing, whole thing, yeah, whole thing. You know, he really was. You saw when like Nate got a couple one twos and, and, and or he just laughs. Yeah, well, Jorge, like, like he, like, tied him up in the clinch. He, like, looked at the camera, and he started blowing kisses to the camera. He was like, <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was solid in there. Yeah. His fucking dude, his left hand. Yeah. He, like, goes. <laughs> yeah. It comes so fast. And far. Yeah. Long. Yeah. Just, pow. It's yeah. Like that reaching fucking. Yeah. <sighs> that picture he posted. Yeah. Dude, in that first round, when he dropped. Uh, I said Nick earlier. I meant to say Nate. When he dropped Nate in that first 45 seconds, I was I like, know. oh, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> I thought it was done. So what, like, I, I'm really interested in, like, the economics of fighting. Like, yeah. So, like, is this going to basically make, like, this was the most, uh, the highest exposure fight that Masvidal has had s thus far, right? I think so, yeah. So this is probably going to, what, double his fucking I mean, net he, worth? He already made a shitload of money. Really? He's talking about it going into it. He was like, he was like, other fighters are gonna see what I make and fucking lose their shit. On this fight or on that fight. Really? But it dude, if they run a trilogy out of this thing, really? See ya. Damn. He could retire. I mean, how much how much do you think he made off this one fight? <laughs> I don't know the hard numbers. Let me look at it. But I'm I'm gonna venture I'll say like Conor McGregor numbers. But what is that? Like over a million? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh wow. I'm thinking at least twenty mil. Because it was such like a... I mean, Nate Diaz must have made a bunch, too. He I made mean, a his name alone is yeah. like what drives all the fucking pay-per-view Yeah, but purchases. I mean... Um, we got to go sound check, dude. Oh, shit. And, and we got to start this shit at five, so it's like... Oh. Sorry. I know. Damn I don't it, don't mean dude. to be the fucking... Damn it, dude. The, the time warden again, but... Hold on. Let me just look at the, the earnings. Let me just look at the earnings. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, so he got paid 
520k for the fight with Diaz. So 500k to show. And then he got a 20k incentive. But it's the fucking pay-per-view royalties that he's probably made up. Fuck load of money. So maybe not 20 mil. That's fucking boxing numbers. But he at least made a million. Damn, half a mil just to show up. Just to show up and, lo- <laughs> and lose or win. That's so sick. But it takes forever to get to that point, dude. Yeah, yeah. Massive card for that type of winning. That's so crazy. Or how about the fucking undercard? The dude kicked the guy in the face. Kevin Lee. That <laughs> was extremely surprising because Kevin Lee, his last four fights, he's not in a good, like, good place. Really? He needed that win. Bad. And that was a fucking oh. brutal. Brutal head this kick. Hurts watching that shit, dude. That dude was, that was just like sleeping midair. He got yeah. he got tucked in. Yeah. Think. <laughs> Lucky that the net was there. Yeah. Yeah. Just slammed down and yep. hit his head again. Caught him. Yep. Caught him. Yeah, buddy was whopped from that one. Yeah. Nuts. So, anyways, guys, we um have to go sound check. Sorry, I would love to talk about fighting for another forty five minutes, yeah. but I'm not not allowed. Yep, um, TMGPod.com yeah, for oh, merch, and tu- uh, Tuesday, 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 keep your eyes pe- pe- peeled. Yeah, uh, everybody, everybody, keep your eyes peeled. If you're listening to this for free, then you know, you know what we've announced. Yeah, so, you know what's up by now. So um, go, you know, go take action on that. <laughs> <laughs> if that wasn't a motherfucking... Yeah, you know, yeah. y'all yeah. know what's up, man. It's yeah. it's gonna be crazy. It is gonna be crazy. God damn yeah. it, I'm so excited. A E I O, you guys rule. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> See you next. See, See you next week. A I peace. A I O U. Why <laughs> can I not put 